Mental imagery. What could be more cognitive than that? Our ability to visualize something when it isn't physically in front of us, but when we have to think about it in its absence. Like uh, what is darker, a Christmas tree or frozen broccoli? Or what shape are Mickey Mouse's ears? Uh, when you ask people that question, they kind of look into space. They report having a mental picture. They have an experience that's like kind of looking at the mental picture and reading off the, uh, the necessary information. Mental imagery plays a role in a lot of our psychological life. Uh, many artists will uh, visualize, say, a scene in a novel or an arrangement uh, in a painting or a sculpture before they begin. Many scientists claim to have an insight where they see the answer to a problem in an image before they work out the details. Famously, uh, Albert Einstein, when he tried to imagine what it would be like to be on a train looking back at the hands of a clock as the train receded at the speed of light with the hands freeze in place. Or what would happen in a, an elevator if someone cut the cable and then you tried to drop a penny. You would simulate weightlessness leading to the connection between uh, motion and gravitation. But what is a mental image? Uh, not for the last time, I got caught up when I was in graduate school in a uh, raging controversy called the uh, imagery debate. And this was a debate over the format of mental imagery. Now, everyone reports the experience of a mental picture, and that's the way we describe it in English. But of course, there isn't a real picture in the brain. It isn't as if there's a little man sitting in a theater who's looking at a screen. The behaviorists were right about this. How do we make sense of what's going on in people's heads when they say they have a mental picture? The easiest way to make sense of it is to use the concept from computer science of an image file, basically an array of pixels, as we would now call them. And my graduate advisor, Stephen Koslin, came up with what at the time was a revolutionary theory that images were like image files in a computer. 